Are we all just mindless zombies wasting hours of our time scrolling on social media when we could be achieving our goals? Well, I was. What? Until I found out that the average teenager spends over 7 hours a day on social media. I had to stop. So for the next 30 days, I deleted social media, forced myself to work out daily, take cold showers, hand in all my homework early, and maybe hardest of all, stop eating junk food. Day one of 30, and we're starting off with going for a run. I haven't ran consistently for like two months. A little over 4K done. Time for a cold shower. That was really cold. I gotta say, breakfast is looking pretty tasty. Nope. Wow. Normally at this point of the day, I'd be at school, but my teacher is sick, so we have class online. Typically after my first class, I usually come home and just like go on my phone for a while. Since I have no distractions and I can't really go on social media or anything, I'm just gonna get straight to work. Today for lunch, we got an apple, some leftover steak, and a glass of milk. This is gonna feel kind of weird eating by myself without having anything to do on my phone, just kind of eating and sitting there. That meal was definitely a lot faster not being on my phone. So today was one of the most productive days I feel like I've had in a while. My mind felt clearer, I felt focused, there was no distractions like social media or going on my phone. Things felt more simplistic and I felt more organized. I did homework till about 4 o'clock and I took a break without any technology. I ate chili for supper, it doesn't look that good on video but it was pretty good. I went to speed skating, I'm gonna have a bedtime snack, and I'm gonna go to bed, and that's it for day one. Day two was a bit more difficult, as I woke up at 5.30 a.m. to go work out. Then, I had a mediocre tasting breakfast of rolled oats. I took another cold shower, then I went off to school. I go to Harvard. Nope. When I got back from school, I had some leftover chili, and I noticed the amount of time I spent on my phone had dropped. I did some more schoolwork, I took another break, had some tacos, I went to speed skating. Yeah, I'm pretty much Lightning McQueen. Cringe. I handed in a couple of assignments all early today. I was feeling less tired too, and a little more content. I think the biggest reason why I'm feeling better and more focused is the no social media. The next few days flew by. I continued to work out and run every single day. I continued taking cold showers. I ate a lot of eggs, fruit, and rice bowls. I went to school every day. I did homework and I studied. On day five and six, I decided to go for a little night walk. Going for a quick little night walk. After I did everything I needed to do, I decided to relax and watch the World Series. My temptation to give up on the challenge and just eat some junk food grew more and more every day, but none of it compared to day eight. Today's Halloween. This is gonna be the first Halloween I haven't had candy my entire life. Look at all these good candies. However, I managed to stick to my same diet and training plan. However, on day 10, things took a bit of a turn. I didn't do as well as I wanted to on my quiz despite studying a week in advance. So, something needed to change. So the next morning, I made myself a smoothie made out of the best brain foods. Cocoa, nuts, and berries, and peanut butter. Then I scheduled out every single waking hour of my day. On day 15, I got my friend Nicholas to join the challenge. And things were going great, until he broke his phone and lost all the footage. So instead, here's a video of a cat falling in a bathtub. After a couple more days of continuing my healthy eating, it was time for my next quiz. And I did better. After grinding out my last two weeks of the challenge, by continuing my training, competing in a couple sports competitions, and eating a lot of eggs, day 30 had come to an end. So, did I do it? Did I complete all 30 days of this challenge without failing? No. On day 28, with only two days left to go, I failed the challenge. I handed in one of my homework assignments on time instead of a day early. Despite the failure, I still see this challenge as a success, and I recommend everybody to do it. I mean, just look at how happy I am. Click it, click it, click it, click it. Why haven't you clicked it yet? Click it, click it, 